If you're screwed for your microeconomics final exam, I'm a tutor and this is how you find surplus, deadweight loss, and tax revenue. And before we get started here, if you wanna see where you stand for your final exam, go click the link in my bio to take my free practice exam. It's got 25 of the most common types of problems I see professors put on exams. And afterwards, you'll get a unit by unit breakdown of how you did. All right, with that being said, I first want us to understand where consumer and producer surplus starts out at before the tax. So ignore this S tax curve. Before the tax is instituted in the market, it's gonna operate at this price. That's the intersection of the supply and demand curves. So this triangle that occurs above this price and below the blue demand curve is consumer surplus. Because consumers that lie along the demand curve at these points are gonna be purchasing the good at this price when they value it at all of these prices going along the curve. So their total consumer surplus is the accumulation of all those vertical heights which when we combine them all together, makes this consumer surplus triangle right here. All right, same goes for producer surplus, but on the flip. We've got all of these producers along these points right here that are willing to sell the good at these prices, but they're actually able to sell at this equilibrium price. So they're generating all these vertical distances of producer surplus, and the total of all of them together is this triangle right here of total producer surplus. All right, now I'm gonna remove that original equilibrium price so that we consider what happens when the tax comes into play. All right, with the tax, this market's gonna really operate at this point right here because that's the intersection of the supply plus tax and demand curves. And let's start by understanding that it's gonna operate at this equilibrium output. We'll call this QT. It used to operate over here at Q star, but this tax is essentially pulling back the equilibrium output. Remember that in your head right here, we're gonna to return to that when we come to deadweight loss here. But what I first want us to understand is that now, producers are going to be paying this price we call it PC right here meaning that they're going to generate this triangle right here of consumer surplus remember they used to be paying a price down here but now they're paying up here so there's less consumers buying and each of them value the good at this price right here so there are individual consumer surpluses or all these vertical heights that occur and together that makes this smaller consumer surplus triangle right here same goes for the flip with producer surplus. But what we gotta understand here is that now producers are gonna receive this price right here. We'll call it PP. They used to be getting paid this equilibrium price back when the tax didn't exist, but now it's cutting out some of their profits. So they're receiving this price for selling each unit of the good, and the producers along this curve right here are willing to sell it at these lower prices. So their vertical heights right here are all of their producer surpluses, and that combined together generates this triangle of total producer surplus with the tax. Now remember, a tax is getting added to this market right here. It's the vertical distance between these supply curves. Meaning that for each of these units sold up to this new quantity with the tax, we're generating this amount of tax revenue per unit towards the government. So this rectangle right here is gonna be tax revenue. 